You know, I received a DM on my Instagram saying, Bunny, you know, everything that's going on, it just seems like you're posting movie and television reviews and reactions and posting silly stuff. Why aren't you saying anything about the protests that are going on? Why aren't you saying anything about that? And it's not like I don't care. It's not like I don't know because I'm black, clearly. Um, but this channel, is a movie and television show recap reaction channel. So that's why I haven't said anything and that's why I haven't posted anything. But since it's such a big issue, I do feel like I have to say something. With the protesting, it's something that has to be done. There has to be awareness that the injustices that are happening to people of color, especially black people, we do need that awareness. The fact that there's protesting across the states is something that's needed. People need to open their eyes to this systemic racism and everything that's been happening. The true thing that I want my people to understand, the true thing that I want everybody to open their eyes and see is that when it comes to black and white in America, the true color that matters at the end of the day is green. That's right. COVID-19, all of these things that are happening in our society right now, if you didn't figure to invest in yourself at this moment, you need to open your eyes and realize that right now. Save your money, invest in yourself, learn as much as you can, develop whatever hopes and dreams that you want to pursue while this is happening because the, because the world and not for anybody else it doesn't happen while protesting is going on and while covid concerns are going on businesses are still churning thinking of the coin research stocks research real estate and how to flip your money. Now's not the time to spin, spin, spin with things that are not correlating with what you wanna do in your life. I keep quiet on all that stuff because that's something that's my personal journey. That's something that I want in my life. This channel is not the foundation for that platform. Let me just make that plain. It's not that I don't have an opinion about it. It's not that I am not suffering from the post-traumatic stress of seeing people that look like me being murdered with no consequences, no convictions. Let's get that straight now. But please understand, this is that critical time that you must get with it. Things are changing. Whether you like it or not, whether you see it or not, the shift of technology, home-based workers, what do you need to invest in right now? Because if you don't realize what's happening with jobs, with money, you will miss that train. It will pass you by. And you're going to say and you're going to think about those shoulda, coulda, woulda, wouldas two to three years from now. Every company that is suffering from COVID, every business that is rioted, damaged, they have insurance they'll be okay. A lot of companies think about theft, things that are broken even before they make a profit. Let's get that understood. Are you more outraged by the rioters who are not part of that peaceful protest who are in the way? Those are not protesters that we wanna think about. We wanna see the protesters that are protesting peacefully, which is majority of everyone that is protesting. Don't let the media mislead you and think that that is what's going on in every single protest. If you feel emotionally looking at everything that's happening is causing you harm, making you feel depressed, making you feel sad, that my friends is post-traumatic stress. You need to fast 
from those images, from those things, if you're not out there protesting, if you're not out there in the march, that is something that you have decided that is not your genre, your way of bringing awareness. But what you can do, what you can do is be mindful of people around you who are aware of these things. My black friends, if you have white friends, you need to understand and see where they stand because not everyone is your ally. Please understand that. We must love one another, but just know we have functioning racist. There are people that are at your job that are functioning racist. It's not going anywhere anytime soon, unfortunately, in America, but it is getting there because we're seeing more and more white people stand with the protest, which is beautiful. But please know, after the protest, after the marches, after whatever happens in the, the judicial system with the officers that have been arrested, then what? It's the then what? The system is broken. It is completely broken. The way that they incarcerate people of color, those laws, those things, it's a broken system. It's a broken system that needs to be completely demolished and crushed. That is the focus after this. In the meantime, don't stop investing in yourselves. Don't stop investing with who you are as a person. Because green, unfortunately, is the counterpart to the foundation of America. The slaves that build, built all of the successful corporations that are the backbones of America, that, my friends, is the wheel of America. And it's only starting to slowly break the gears. But the gears is not a problem, it's the entire wheel. It's the entire mechanism that needs to be demolished and completely thrown away. Until we get to that point, the fight continues. The revolution continues to understand that racism exists Systemic racism exists. If you don't understand it, if you don't see it, I don't know much more, how much more you need to see to be convinced that it does exist. But just know wealth, land, real estate, investments, stocks, that's what's still going, whether you know it or not. If you want a company, if you want to continue your education, if you want to get your health right, now is the time. Do not wait. Nobody knows the end result of this COVID situation. Nobody knows the end results of the protesting. But regardless of what happens, I'm still black. Regardless of what happens, I'm still in America. Regardless of what happens, we have voting in November. But the key to freedom, the key at understanding the driving forces of what's kept racism going so long is money. Okay? So please don't take the silence before as me not having consciousness, awareness, and concern of the situation. I was truly trying to keep the channel specific to what I wanted to do and to grow with that. For those of you that disagree, that don't like this, you're free to unsubscribe. I would just ask that you don't leave negative comments because we want to uplift one another, not destroy. No matter what your political platform is, there should always be a level of respect and understanding and listening and hearing one another. It's about what's right and about it's about what's wrong. That is the focus. 
And as Americans, we've lost sight of that. We have to understand that we have to learn that. The rage and the frustration of it all. We're tired. We're tired. And it's nothing new. Every year, it is someone and several people that weren't caught on camera that were murdered by law enforcement. The key is good cops ciphering out bad cops. The police enforcement ciphering out the bad seeds. The government understanding that hiring previous soldiers who are now cops see civilians as enemies and not people because they've been trained to be soldiers. There's so many things with law enforcement that need to be changed. Like I'm saying before, the entire system is broken. We need that good Honda, Toyota, (laughs) long lasting frame foundation. No matter how they change the outside, the paint, the this, the that. They can do whatever they want to do, but that that engine and that frame on that good old Honda, that Chevy, that whatever, whatever brand that you know that's just amazing. That frame, that never changes. You know, you can get a new, new Lexus and you're like, this look like a Toyota. You sit down, it's the same car. Not getting off subject, but you see what I'm, what I'm saying. America needs that good frame. And the frame that we've been on this entire time is trash. Things need to be broken down, unlearned, and rewritten. That's just the truth. If you were protesting, please be safe. Record whatever you can to make sure that you're safe as you're protesting. If you are confused, if you are saddened, educate, reach out. Do not be in this abyss of whirling dervis of confusion, okay? Now is the time. Now is the time to invest in yourself if you haven't realized that yet. Because money? money whether you're white or black if you're not on the side where money has been invested you've missed out projects welfare all kinds of stuff that has systemically has put people in certain areas break those things in your family who you are and if you don't know Do that research. If you guys want me to post videos about stocks, if you guys want me to post videos about how to invest in land and real estate, let me know. It'll just be another playlist that's that's created. But just know, the key is investing in yourself. The key is being aware of what's going on around you. The key is understanding that love and each other is all we have. That's it. And while we're going back and forth with one another, other countries are watching and taking notes. And I don't know why people can't understand and put it in their heads that America, that Superman syndrome that everybody thinks that we are, there's always a kryptonite. Have other countries figured that out? I don't know. But when America realizes that it's okay to ask, what can we do to make things right and move forward? Why can't that happen? If our healthcare isn't right, why can't we talk to other countries 
who understand healthcare. If this isn't right, you see where I'm going? The foundation and the frame and all the systems are broken. If you're not a person of color, please understand. It shouldn't be a back and forth of what you don't understand because you've never lived it. But what it is, it's about being honest. Would you switch places and have complete confidence that being a person of color, that you are equal? If you know in your heart that it wouldn't be equal, that there wouldn't be equality, you're being aware of your white privilege that you probably didn't know you never had. And someone asked me, well, I'm white and I grew up poor and I never had any, nobody ever gave anything to me. Privilege, this sociology term, the way that it's being used has nothing to do with money. What it means, white privilege, is that you have the privilege of not dealing with certain issues that people of color do. You have the privilege of knowing that when you get pulled over for any reason, broken tail lights, beating, whatever, that there's not this rush of fear, is it my last day to live? You have the privilege of not experiencing that. You have the privilege of knowing when you go on a job interview, you're not being judged on the color of your skin. You have the privilege to do a lot of things. And if you don't understand and if you don't know that, now's the time to flip it. Be empathetic and put yourself in those shoes. And if you can't see life that way, let that be the beginning of what you don't know and what you don't understand. I love you all. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Take care of yourself. Because like I said, while this is happening, other countries are watching. Other continents are watching. They're taking note. And everything that we can't get right they're getting it right, okay? So like I said, respect each other in the comments. Know my people, my black people, more than anything, support black businesses, support our own. And if you're white and you hear that, to be like it's racism, this is how it's not. I've heard people say, well, my grandfather came from Italy with nothing. My such and such came from Spain with nothing. My such and such came from here with nothing. Started a business, did this, did that. You know what the difference is? When you compare that to black America, those people, your grandfather, all of those people came by choice. Two, there wasn't a systemic plan to destroy them when they got here. And three, there's historical proof that when those systemic things are not in the way, you are successful. When you come by choice, and there's not a systemic, systematic and systemic systems of racism to hold you back. That was the melting pot idea that, you know, we should get to because we're here. And we were forced. So I just wanted to post that this and let people know how I felt. And I didn't want 
anyone to have the perception as if I didn't care, if I didn't know, and I'm just, oh, let's just do movies, and just like I'm ignoring it. No. I can't cut my skin off. I can't take a break from being black. But this channel was just artistic freedom and enjoying movies and enjoying art and having laughs and talking about certain issues and certain things in pop culture. So that's why. Tears, anger, when I started to feel all of that, I meditated, I prayed about it, and I left it at the feet of my Lord and Savior. Because as a person, each person can only do so much. Okay? So... Whatever energies that you're feeling, purge and let that out. Cry. Don't hold it in. That's for sure. But if it's harboring on you every day, you need to fast from social media, you need to fast from television, and you just need to focus on yourself. Because revolutions and things and changes, they're inevitable whether you know it or not. Wanted to show y'all how serious I was. No intros, no music, nothing. Just, just straight to the point. Research. Financial freedom. Research educating your own children. Research what can make you healthier now jobs that are changing that will no longer exist in the way that they've always been when my grandparents and parents you know that that time frame you picked a craft you developed it you stayed with that company 20 30 years you retired and you sat your butt down then you had that wave of factories closing, of things changing, and it took more than a trade. Now you were going into education, then you had the people that were going to school, then you had, the, there's always this, this churn of, of changes that are happening in the economy and education and business. Don't fall behind, don't do that. Don't do that. How is your career changing? How are you investing in yourself? Don't get left behind. At least read and be aware of how companies are changing, how things are about evolving, and how you can be the counterpart and the entrepreneur that you always wanted to be, or companies that you've always wanted to work for or work with. Support black businesses. We have to pump money into our communities and we have to break free. And don't let any excuse hold you back any further. I love you guys. Take care of yourself and stay safe. Love you all.